Clements, Jeff Douglas, Doctor of Physical Therapy and Golf Strength and Conditioning Coach. And today I wanted to come in and talk about why I love to use the HALO exercise with either my patients who are in pain or with my clients who are just looking to get stronger and more mobile for their golf. And so what is the HALO to start with? All right, so the HALO exercise is taking either a kettlebell or a dumbbell and we bring it around our head here, all right? And why I love it, because it's a great tool to, one, assess our shoulder range of motion, all right? Um, and it's a great tool to improve our shoulder mobility as well. And we can do it with weights in a weighted position, all right? So if I was assessing someone, I just take a, have them take a weight and I have them go around their head. And I want to see if they are able to keep a constant circle, like my head is the sun, the kettlebell is the earth, all right? can we get it all the way around without moving our neck? So people that struggle with shoulder mobility, you'll see that they will bend their neck to get there to make up for the lack of shoulder range of motion they have, all right? And it puts our shoulder in almost every uh, position that it can do, right? I got some flexion here, and then when I go here, I'm internally rotating my right arm, I'm externally rotating my left arm, then I get back into deep shoulder flexion with my uh, lats getting stretched out. So I can see if someone maybe is a little uh, shortened length or their lat is shortened because then you'll see their back extend to make up to try to get their arms up, all right? I want to see this locked in place and then can they do it? And then when I get to this side, I am now in external rotation of this shoulder, internal rotation of my left shoulder, and then I get back here. So it really allows me to see if someone is limited in internal external rotation or with any kind of overhead motion, all right? And then you want to check going the opposite direction, all right? And then so is one internal this way bother them or does external this way bother them, vice versa? Does internal here bother them, external uh, when they're moving that way? So it's a great assessment tool. And now it's a great tool to help someone improve, all right? So ladies, if you have a ponytail, it's best to take it out with that, all right? Make sure you do a weight that's not too much, that you're compensating, leaning back. And we can also add a core component to it, all right? What I mean by that, so if I have someone come down and do it in a half kneeling position, which means one knee down, one knee forward, all right, it then just narrowed their base of support. So now they're gonna be challenged in the frontal plane or side to side plane for their abs, because when that weight comes over here, it's gonna wanna fall this way. So this ab has to go, and hold it up, all right? So now I've just added an ab component with some movement by making it a half kneel position. If I wanna make it more stable, I can come into a tall kneeling position, more stable, all right? Uh, and can still work the exercise. Or if I wanna make it very challenging, I could maybe turn it into a lower body strengthening exercise while I do this and I go into a lunge and do the exercise, all right? So let's quick do it, all right? So we're gonna bring the kettlebell up. I like to grab the horns, put it right in front of your face, and you're gonna bring it to the side, back, side, forward. And I might have them do that, or you can do it, you know, eight to 10 times, and then what you'll do is you'll come back and do it this way. If this is way too shaky, this is tough for you, either widen out your base support or go to a tall kneeling position. If it's too easy, you feel like you're not getting challenged, we'll try to get that right in the line, right? And now I made this way more shaky for myself when I'm doing this, okay? But don't let the stability part ruin the, mo the bigger purpose of this exercise, which is to improve our shoulder mobility. And when you go backwards, it can get you into a little bit of that thoracic extension and work some of that extension back there, all right? An example of a tough exercise here would be maybe doing like an isometric lunge in that position. So knee up, wrap it around, bring it back, and that would be one rep. And now I'm in a great quad burn, and so I can work some lower body. Or it's a great warm up as well that I use with people, right? That'd be a great way to get your quads going, calves going, and get your upper body going. So big points to remember, all right, is it's a great one to use as an assessment tool. Don't compensate by moving your neck. It should stay still and only your arms are moving, all right? It's a great way to work on putting load above your shoulder 
and getting our arms into external and internal rotation um, and try to be steady on all the way around, okay? So that is why I like to use the HATL exercise with my clients, um, even for performance or people who are in pain, all right? If you have any questions, uh, leave it below. Any comments, leave it below, and I will get back to you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this information useful or helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Just drag that mouse right over to the red box, click it so that you're notified the next time that I post a video. Again, thank you so much.